It's only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What's up, people? The first part of this video is going to concentrate on aim shakes, like the one you saw in the aimbot anomalies video, and what's called an assist warble. This is pointed out to me by somebody who actually wants to help, instead of trolling me like the majority of people are trying to do. But I do have to say that warble is kind of hard for me to say, I, I, I guess just because I'm from the south, I don't really know. So I'm going to say wobble instead, assist wobble. <laughs> I hope you don't get mad at me, dude. But this is where the crosshair oscillates back and forth between the target and where the player's trying to pull his crosshair to. And I gotta agree with this guy, this is one of the most blatant things that stands out when it comes to cheating. Because it's definitely not natural for you to sit there and shake back and forth when you're trying to aim at somebody. And then later down he links this clip from Coin about Flusha, which is a great example of what he's talking about. You can see after he locks the assist wobble back and forth while he's trying to get back to the edge. And in Coin's other Proverwatch video that features shocks, he's going to explain that the aim key has an aim time function that lasts about 4 seconds and keeps your crosshair locked on the target. Or at least tries to, even when you try to pull away. And I'd imagine this thing can be changed to any number or could actually probably be randomized, right? Ring, 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 banana phone. If you'll remember back in my aimbot anomalies video when I'm talking about edge locks, when you shoot at a target and then the target goes behind a wall, your crosshair is going to try to grab at the target and then lock back on the edge. Well what I believe is happening is that some players have this aim time function enabled and when it gets close to the edge it keeps trying to grab at the target multiple times. Which is why this assist wobble is even more dramatic around edges. This wobble or the shaking effect doesn't have anything to do with a wall or an edge though. It just looks a lot more sketchy in my opinion when it happens through a wall or around an edge. What's going on is the aimbot's activated, trying to hold your crosshair on the target, and the player's trying to move his crosshair away from the target, causing a disagreement between where the aimbot and the player's trying to put the crosshair. Now I'm not trying to say that players can't shake their mouse back and forth, because obviously they can. But I don't believe that's what's going on right here. Because when you play high level first person shooter games, you need extreme precision hand-eye coordination, right? And the last thing you want to do is shake your mouse back and forth when you're trying to shoot somebody. Just like in professional shooting as an example. The last thing you want to do is start waving your gun around before you shoot at the target or while you're shooting the target. As a rule, the first thing you should learn how to do is pull the trigger without moving the gun. You don't even need to load the gun, you don't need a target. You need to be able to fire the gun without altering the attitude and the direction the gun's pointed. Until you can do that, aiming is meaningless. Think about it, if you're shooting a shot, you're focused on that front sight, you're looking at that front sight, you're looking, 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 and you say, now I'm going to shoot now. And you jerk the gun six inches low, eight inches low, it didn't matter if you aimed to begin with. So it's pointless to focus on aiming until fire control is in place. Okay. Before we actually get into the clips, I need to remind you that I've got the recoil effects turned off on the weapons so we see strictly their mouse movements. I have interpolation turned off because we don't want our demo that's already been interpolated to be interpolated again. And I've also got show impacts turned on so we can see the bullet markers. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, I highly recommend you check out a video called Aimbot Anomalies. A link for it's going to be down in the description below. Alright, let's get started. You'll notice that once Simple starts shooting and his target steps behind the train, his crosshair is still going to get tugged at the target multiple times before it finally locks on the edge. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier with the assist wobble. And you're going to see the same effect here with the deagle. Notice the wobble effect whenever his target steps further back in the tree. And again, same thing here with the op, as soon as this target steps behind the e-box, you get that bad wobble effect, moving back towards the target. In this clip, he actually kills his target, but you still have this wobble effect. Now, he could be shaking his mouse to do what I believe is emulating unwanted aimbot effects. 
and it could be because this aimbot failed one of its checks and thought its target was still alive for a second, which I guess would keep the aim time function going longer than it should have been. In this clip, once Simple gets done with his spray, you'll notice the wobble effect on the edge going back up to where his target's going to peek back out at. First off, we got the same assist wobble effect. This time it gets locked on the tunnel entrance though when his target runs back through the tunnel. In this shot, you get a small wobble effect until he goes behind the dumpster. This shot right here is not going to have the wobble effect, and I think it's because Simple's moving while he's shooting. Therefore, he's not getting a good lock. Alright, in this shot he's going to time it right, going to get a good lock and you're going to have this wobble effect again. This shot again, he's moving while he's trying to shoot him, so he's not going to get a good lock and there's not going to be any wobble. Next shot is a kill shot, got a good lock, and as you can see it produced another assistance wobble. And this next shot right here, Simple's going to shoot a random shot and there's not going to be any wobble effect at all. And this last shot here, Simple's crouched, so his movement's not going to be a problem. He locks as the target's dying, and you get this assist wobble. In this next clip, you're going to see a zigzag when Simple shoots his second shot of his Mac 7. And here's an illustration of my best attempt to show you what I'm talking about. Going back to the aimbot anomalies video, I showed you this picture and explained that the aimbot creates what's called a vector angle, and if you shake your mouse back and forth it creates a zigzag effect going towards your target. That might be what's happened in this case with the Mag 7 and in these next couple of clips also. Here's another clip just like that Mag 7 clip where his crosshair is zigzagging up the target. And here's an illustration to kind of show what I'm talking about. And here you're going to see Symbol's crosshair following the target doing the zigzag pattern. Again, I believe this is because he's shaking his mouse while his aimbot's trying to follow that vector angle. Here's an example of a side angle adjustment from Simple, and an illustration to go along with it. And here's another example of a side angle, except this time it happens in between shots. You'll notice it right before he fires his last shot, that sideways angle adjustment. In this clip right here, when simple spraying, you're going to see two right angles back to back. I'm going to put up some illustrations just to show you the first right angle goes down and to the right, and the next right angle goes back to the left and up, both adjusting to his target. Okay, here and in this clip, you're going to see simple do a flick and have a right angle adjustment to get to his target. 
And of course, with any right angles, I try to draw an illustration to kind of help you guys see what I'm seeing. Here you're going to see simple spraying again with another right angle adjustment during a spray. And notice how the bullets are manipulated towards the target with each adjustment. Right angle included. And then notice after his target dies, his crosshair locks onto the target. Again, I think this is because his aimbot's failing checks and he thinks that his target's still alive. At least that was the reason explained to me by somebody else that's trying to help me also. Here's a quick example of what happens during an edge lock. You can see Simple locking on his target and then his crosshair locking back to the edge. Alright, and we got another example of an edge lock. This time his target's behind the pillar and when Simple goes to shoot at him, he locks on his target and then locks back on the edge of the pillar. After a little bit of the wobble effect. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here on this clip. Let me know down in the comment section below if you think you've seen this assist warble anywhere else. Goodbye, I love you everyone. Heart and tweet chat. Come on, come on.